Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 222 pounds, WWE Champion, T.F. Sometimes the WWE can really drive you crazy. You know, why'd they rush that story? Why is that guy going over? If there's one thing that's consistent about wrestling, it's that the product has its ups and downs, and the viewers think they could rate it better. That's why games like WWE 13 are so popular among wrestling fans. Want Brian to make Cena tap out at SummerSlam? Book it! Kick to the skull, that should do it! Think you know how the Lesnar-Punk match should go? Hey. You're the ring general. Go crazy, Pat Patterson. These superstars are so unpredictable. Want Dolph Ziggler to get over? Well, tell crowds to start cheering him. Why aren't the crowds cheering him? There's a cover. Two. Three. Ziggler picks up the win. Thanks to wrestling games, we get to be WWE creative. We get to rewrite history however we see fit. WWE 13 is all about history. In fact, this game is as much about the past as it is the 13. CM Punk may be on the cover, but this is more a celebration of wrestling's history in its most popular and controversial era. Surely the era of the superhero who urged you to say your prayers and take your vitamins is definitely passe. Yeah, if you say so, Vince. Tell that to this guy. From West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing 240 pounds, yeah. Now, just as the walls of Jericho is to the Boston Crab, WWE 13 is basically just a modified, slightly elevated version of WWE 12. From a gameplay perspective, this is pretty much a continuation of what THQ started the year before. Obviously, there are tweaks, uh, specifically the use of multiple camera angles to match the television product, but the big difference is the game's historical focus. WWE 13's main attraction is its Attitude Era mode, a single-player mode that takes players back to the era of the Hart and Michaels, Austin, Foley, and all those Hall of Fame talents that made the Attitude Era so enormously popular. Actually, it did, Lawler, in a big way. WWE 13 takes you through it, like an interactive history lesson. You get to play through some of the biggest moments from the Attitude Era, moments that defined wrestling for an entire generation. The scenes are usually set with some historical background, some footage, and it really makes these matches feel as big as their history. Eventually, WCW pulled ahead, while WWE's ratings plunged soon. WWE's survival was in question. It was time for WWE to shake things up. So it's cool for the old school fans to relive, but it's also designed to basically teach newer fans who these characters are. The Attitude Era mode is where you unlock the game's characters and content. So it's like, it shows you who these characters were, and then you get to unlock them. It's like, it's like hands-on learning, only with punches. But what if you're not a fan of the Attitude Era? Well, don't worry, I'm not either. It's actually when I stopped watching wrestling. I'm a bigger fan of today's WWE. Ironically, that's where the game feels most outdated. Playing WWE 13 makes you appreciate how much better the roster is today than it was even a year ago. There's no Shield, no Wyatts. Ryback is DLC. Oh, but, but Mankind, he's playable from the start. And that's the thing, WWE 13 feels a lot more focused on the past than 2013, which also applies to its gameplay. Again, it's basically WWE 12 reloaded, along with all 12 pages of instructions on how to play it. Personally, I wish it were simpler and more arcadey, but hey, if you figure out the controls, you can actually do some really fluid wrestling. Jericho. Jericho's trying. Jericho's looking to put him in the walls. WWE 13 is a good wrestling game with lots of content and a great historical focus. Current stuff went out of date pretty quickly, but then again, the, the WWE moves so fast, it's impossible to make any game entirely current for its time. And besides, aside from that and some typical commentary issues, WWE 13 definitely lands its punches. And it's famousers. Start cheering for Dolph, you guys!